if you're over 60 and dealing with an enlarged prostate, you probably know all about going to the bathroom a lot and having trouble peeing. But did you realize some drinks can make these problems worse? In this video, we're going to talk about five kinds of drinks you might want to avoid to help your prostate. We'll explain in simple terms why these drinks might not be good for you. If you're tired of running to the bathroom all the time, keep watching to find out which drinks you should skip for a healthier prostate. Let's start with citrus fruit juice. Drinks like orange juice, lemonade, and grapefruit juice have a lot of citric acid. This can make your pee more acidic, which might irritate your bladder and the tubes that carry your pee. This irritation could make you feel like you need to pee more often. If you love these tangy juices, think about switching to other juices that are less harsh but still good for you. Try apple juice, cranberry juice, or pomegranate juice. These choices are usually easier on your bladder and might even help keep your prostate and pee tubes healthy. Plus, too much citric acid can increase the chance of getting kidney stones, another important thing to keep in mind for your prostate health. 2. Coffee If you have BPH, a common prostate problem, you might have noticed that you need to go to the bathroom more often after having a cup of coffee. This happens because of the caffeine in coffee, which can be about 80 to 100 milglars in each cup. Caffeine makes your bladder work harder and makes more pee, which can make BPH symptoms worse. If you want to visit the bathroom less and feel more comfortable, it might help to drink less caffeine. But if you really like your morning coffee, try switching to decaf. It tastes almost the same but doesn't have the caffeine that can make your symptoms worse. Plus, too much caffeine can make prostate issues worse. Cutting back on how much coffee you drink can really help with managing your BPH symptoms and make you more comfortable. 3. Caffeinated tea. Tea can be good for your prostate, but you need to be careful about how much caffeine it has. Black tea usually has 20 to 40 mg of caffeine per cup, while green tea has a bit less, around 15 to 30 mg. Both black and green teas have good things in them like epigallocatechin galat, which are antioxidants that help fight inflammation and can be good for your prostate. If you want to stay away from caffeine, you might want to try decaf teas or herbal teas that don't have caffeine. Hibiscus tea, for example, doesn't have caffeine and is full of antioxidants, making it a healthy choice. Other herbal teas like chamomile, peppermint, and ginger are also caffeine-free and can be good for you. Chamomile tea can help with inflammation, peppermint tea can relax your muscles, and might help with pee problems caused by an enlarged prostate and ginger tea can help reduce inflammation and is full of antioxidants. 4. Energy drinks. If you have an enlarged prostate, you should be careful with energy drinks because they have a lot of caffeine. Caffeine can upset the balance in your urinary system and make you need to pee more often. This can make the problems you already have with BPH even worse. There are studies that show drinking a lot of energy, drinks can be bad for your bladder and prostate. Drinking these a lot can cause inflammation which isn't good for keeping your prostate healthy. 5. Alcohol. Drinking a lot of alcohol can cause many health problems, including a higher chance of getting worse, BPH, enlarged prostate, or even prostate cancer. This increase in risk is often tied to how alcohol can cause inflammation in different parts of the body, like the liver and prostate. Long-term drinking can lead to ongoing inflammation, which may play a role in starting and worsening prostate cancer. Inflammation can lead to oxidative stress and damage to DNA, both of which are linked to cancer. Also, when you break down alcohol in your body, it makes byproducts that might increase the risk of prostate cancer. Another thing to think about with alcohol is that it makes you pee more. This can make urinary symptoms worse for people with an enlarged prostate and make dealing with BPH harder. Now, let's look at drinks that are good for your prostate health. I'm happy to share with you the top five picks. First, we have tomato juice. Tomato juice might not be the first thing you think of for health, but it's really good for your prostate. This is mainly because of lycopene, a natural pigment found in tomatoes and some other fruits and veggies. Lycopene is known to be good for the prostate, with studies showing it can lower inflammation and might even shrink the prostate. Drinking tomato juice regularly is an easy way to get more lycopene, which could help with prostate problems and even lower your risk of having them. Next on our list is green tea, which takes the second spot for its numerous benefits, particularly for those dealing with prostate issues such as BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia. The real magic of green tea lies in its rich content of antioxidants. 
these antioxidants play a crucial role in safeguarding the prostate gland, aiding in its overall health and function. They work by combating harmful molecules in the body, thereby reducing inflammation and the risk of cancerous growths in the prostate. Research has particularly highlighted the effectiveness of green tea extract, which is a more concentrated form, in preventing and fighting prostate cancer. These studies suggest that the compounds found in the extract can inhibit the growth of cancer cells and may even reduce the size of existing tumors. This is a significant finding for those concerned about prostate health. While it's true that the green tea you drink has lower concentrations of these beneficial compounds compared to the extract, don't underestimate the power of a regular cup of green tea. Regular consumption can still provide substantial health benefits. Drinking green tea consistently can contribute to maintaining a healthy prostate by providing a steady supply of these protective antioxidants. Additionally, green tea is known for its overall health benefits, including improving heart health and aiding in weight management, which are also important factors for maintaining good prostate health. Therefore, incorporating green tea into your daily routine can be a simple yet effective way to support your prostate health. Whether you prefer it hot or cold, adding a cup or two of green tea to your diet can be a proactive step towards a healthier prostate. Number three is hibiscus tea. Just like green tea, hibiscus tea is known for being good for your health. It's been used in traditional healing for a long time, and it's getting attention now for how it might help the prostate. This tea is full of antioxidants, which are thought to be the reason it's so beneficial. Lab research has shown that hibiscus tea can actually shrink prostate cancer cells. We still need more studies to fully understand its effects on BPH, an enlarged prostate. But there's hope that it could be really helpful. Hibiscus tea is already known as a trustworthy herbal remedy, so it's a great choice if you're looking for natural ways to stay healthy. Next, at number 4, we have matcha. Matcha is a special kind of green tea that's ground into a powder. It's known for giving you a boost of energy. It's a fancier version of green tea, but it has both good and bad points for people with BPH. Matcha has caffeine, which might not be good if you have an enlarged prostate and are sensitive to caffeine. It's a good idea to try a little bit of matcha first to see how it affects you. But if caffeine doesn't bother you, matcha can be really good for managing BPH symptoms. It's like a stronger version of green tea, giving you all the health benefits in a more concentrated form. If you're okay with caffeine, matcha can be a powerful drink for helping your prostate health. Number 5 is water, the most basic but incredibly important drink. Sometimes, in our hunt for special health drinks, we forget just how important plain old water is. It's essential for staying healthy and hydrated. If you're dealing with BPH, an enlarged prostate, drinking enough water is really important. When your prostate is bigger than it should be, it can make it harder to pee properly, and this can get worse if you drink a lot of stuff with caffeine like coffee, soda, or energy drinks. We often don't think much about drinking water, but not having enough can really affect your health. Drinking enough water makes sure everything in your body is working as it should, which is especially good for keeping your prostate healthy. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more health tips. And if you truly take your health seriously, then you need to watch this video next. See you there.